my name is Lauren Book Lim. I am 24 years old. I am the founder and executive director of Lauren's Kids. I am a survivor of sexual abuse. I was the victim of sexual molestation from my nanny um, from the time that I was about 11 years old. She began the grooming process 10, 11, until I was 16. Um, it was a difficult time in my life, obviously, my family's life. Um, it went on every day, 365 days a year, no time off. It was every single day of my life. My now husband came along and had gave me the power and the strength in myself to um, share the abuse with a counselor who then told my father and we brought in um, law enforcement and that nanny was um, fled to Oklahoma and was found coaching 10-year-old girls in soccer and um, was brought back and brought to prison. And um, after that time and after some of my own personal healing. Um, my father and I, my family, have worked very hard um, to prevent sexual abuse from happening to other children. Um, the residency restrictions were something that came up um, a little bit after the abuse had started. Uh, my father and I advocated for the residency restrictions with our 2,500 that sexual offender and predators cannot live within 2,500 square feet of any school, park, daycare center, or wherever children congregate. Um, that number came about because you can't have a bar, a tavern, or an adult entertainment facility 2,500 square feet around any school, park, or daycare center. So why would we want a sex offender living within those perimeters? So we went ahead and we were advocating for these laws. Um, there was some unintended consequences of those ordinances, which are the people who have taken up residence under the Julia Tuttle Causeway. Um, I was forced to move over here by the state. I ain't no monster. We feel like we're being treated worse than animals. Living here is hell. It's, it's, it's a misery. I call this the unexistent world. It's hard. It's, it's, it's impossible. This is inhumane. This barbarianism. Who can take this? How can you live like this? Can't be with your family. You got to use nature's bathroom. It was a real difficult thing for me to reconcile in my brain. We don't want homelessness. We need to end homelessness. But what are we going to do with these sex offenders? I don't have any sympathy for any of the predators who are down there. They like to paint themselves as a victim, and they are not victims. Don't feel sympathy for us. We don't want your sympathy. We know your sympathy ain't gonna count too much. But look at us as individuals that is trying to make it like human beings. Now you and your daughter wanna come out here and try to make yourself look cute. Oh, no, it's not gonna work with me. I've been here for three years, and out these three years, you telling me that you can't help us? We're gonna close that colony down. We're gonna fence off the area so that those people can't go back. We still believe in residency restrictions. I still do believe um, that they work. I don't want sex offenders living around our children. These people are really not easily rehabilitated, if at all rehabilitatable, um, which is why we at Lawrence Kids and me and my family are working very hard to get these predators put in jail where they belong and they can't hurt our children. It was a real difficult thing for me to reconcile in my brain. We don't want homelessness, we need to end homelessness, but what are we going to do with these sex offenders?